it's basically a giant illuminated manuscript and choir books themselves are really large because the entire choir had to be able to read it. The folio is over 500 years old uh, and it's been sitting here for over half a century uh, at Rice. This was a chance for us to figure out who, who the artist was. In 2010, I took a course with um, Dr. Diane Wolfthal, the department chair of art history here at Rice. It's my first year as a PhD grad student and um, I took a course on multicultural Europe and um, she just uh, introduced me to the folio and she wanted me to find out more information about it. So I, I, I took on that project, not really knowing what I was going to find. Melissa has two uh, strengths in her art historical work. One of them, she's very interested in the religious iconography and in the meaning behind the works. Uh, she's also interested in uh, art as uh, objects. Uh, and style, and the progressions of style, and so forth. Uh, so this was a great opportunity for her to study something uh, as a religious work of art. But when she saw that, uh, she could then bring her strength in as a connoisseur, uh, and she realized that the, 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 who the artist was. She did some background research and figured that out. It was in, in looking at different choir books and different styles that I actually uh, ordered through Interlibrary Loan a book on Pedro de Palma and when I looked at it I saw the uncanny resemblance between the rice folio, the image there, the, the figure um, of the male and the other images in, in this book and so I made that connection that it's Pedro de Palma, um, the artist that we see on our folio. There are a lot of artists who are miniaturists uh, working in the uh, Middle Ages and actually through the Renaissance and even Baroque period and beyond uh, that many of them are not household names, uh, but uh, they're often very fine artists. This work embodies the work of, uh, of, this, uh, of a fine painter, Pedro de Palma, who's maybe not known uh, because his works don't hang, they're not easel paintings, they're not framed pictures that you might see in a museum, but uh, he's still a very fine artist nonetheless, and it's very important to know who did this work. It's a really great privilege to be able to uh, work with an object from the 16th century, from you know, 1500, and from from Spain and you know you, you stop and you look at the detail you think about now if you know who the artist is you look at all the, the his hand all the delicate um, details that he did there it's really special it's a special object it's a, it's a privilege to be able to look at it so closely that it's it's here at Rice it's something that anybody can come and ask to to view it and they can they can also um, enjoy it Thank you.